Hello guys, this is Eric and welcome to another overview of Vitas 2.2. The first thing that is brought to you, only giving you a week to try this and if you like it, you go ahead purchase it. What it's saying here is if you really want to activate it, if you say yes, then it's going to bring up the screen for you to pull your details to activate. So I'm going to cancel it to just launch it and say no. And that's it it's going to start it for you the first feature you can see right in your face is you an update you can also click on the help menu and then you can use this link to look at some of the tutorials on youtube you can expand it the way you want so you use control to zoom out so the first thing here says it's uh one is mx mxf file supported and it's only in api mode for now if we can put it to test let's see if we can bring in some media all right there we go as you can see it's loaded here and we can view what it is and you see it says error loading file and the file name might contain unwanted card or whatever it's because we're saying that you can't preview it inside of vitas but you can still play it using the api you can trim it here but you wouldn't see a preview quickly open a vmix and let's connect to vmix as usual we're going to choose the api output we want to add a transition at the end let's see if this file is going to play even though we can't preview here so we're going to start in and say read time there we go you can see the mxf file is really playing move on to the next one it says additional file support we support mkv i can't really remember all the file types you know we have a lot of video file types out there so you can try them try any other file type and if it doesn't work let us know and on number three is the big deal schedule your channel a week ahead and have a block starting on a fixed time number three and number four at the same time because they work uh, together number four says added schedule repeat option if you go on the settings page we have an option here called repeat schedule and it's set to it's not active right now but if we activate it we can choose whether to repeat daily or weekly so I'm gonna leave it for now and then I'll explain later get rid of this one I'm gonna add some few videos I'm gonna add this one that one and that one see I have like three videos okay because I don't want to waste your time watching all this long clip so let's just trim them down uh, it's about nine seconds each all right to right click on the red time button and choose schedule and what we have to do is to set our date manually to so double click on the first file and I'm gonna set the date to now so it's gonna pick the current time but I'm gonna set it ahead of time right now is 14.00 14.01 so one minute later all right so i said that then i say the next one will also follow 14.01 30 so i mean 30 seconds later and then the last one is going to say now 14.01 50 so 20 seconds later all right so we click start and we're ready so we're waiting for it to start by the way i just double click the first line now you can see the first one just started at 14.0200 so it's playing you can see the time is here uh it started at 14.0200 so that's 14.02 then when it's 14.0232 the second one should start by itself so now it's finished playing this the clip was very short that's why it's paused so it's waiting until this this time is up then it's going to jump onto that one and play it so let's wait for 140232 and here we go it starts playing the next one and immediately removes the old one thing so what you can do now why the repeat option is very important and you can ask yourself how can i do this every day and how can i do this weekly so you can see that after you finish playing the date doesn't change it still stays the same but now let's go to settings and then let's choose repeat schedule and then we'll leave it at daily for now and we say okay so let's do the same thing again reschedule again uh it's now 1403 so we're gonna go in there and then change it to 140400 so that's when we want to start and then we're going to change the second one 140432 we double click here to make it ready and we'll click on start it plays the first one it will change the date from 19th to 20th that is tomorrow because we set it to daily if you can see right here immediately started playing it it changed the date from 19th to, to 20th so let's see when it move on to the next one the date is 19th 
05 Let's see if it's going to change if it moves to that one when the time is up. Yes, we're still waiting for the time to be up. So 19.04. And you can see it's changed that one to 20th again because it's set to daily. So we can go to the settings and we can change from daily to weekly. And it's going to change it accordingly. So I'm going to add a program to it. I'm going to call this program Monday. So I'm going to basically do all the days that I want. And we can duplicate it a couple of times. I'm going to go into this and change the names to the corresponding days that we want. So Tuesday. So what it is, is I'm just going to double click here to highlight to highlight the things nothing fancy so you're gonna change this to schedule mode they all set to today so it doesn't make sense so I'll double click each of them and change it so I can bring the calendar down and I can choose Monday so the next Monday it's gonna be 20th and then I can set the time I want it to start and say okay so I can go to Tuesday and then choose the calendar we choose 21st that's gonna be Tuesday and so on and so forth so you're gonna to have to do that so we have all the days set and you're gonna go in your settings and you wanna set it to weekly, weekly. If you set it to weekly, uh, it's gonna do exactly that. So when it gets to any of the days, it will change it to the next week, Monday. So you can now go into individual days and do your schedule and you're not limited. It's still the same, you can do whatever you want to do. So the next thing is the mind blowing thing, a new feature, new Vitas loader command. We can load any project at any time and play. So let's see how that one comes to play. I'm going to clear this, add some videos into this one. I like the here. Uh, add a, let me save this project. I'm going to save it as milk and then I'm going to clear it and I'm going to do a new project. Uh, in this project, I can add a different video. Let's say just the shop video. And then in that shop video, I say, let me trim it down, or if you go to the commands, you scroll Vitax Loader, and we put it down here. Let's just highlight this. So this is the command, and you double click on the name that says load command to see the properties. What it is, is it's looking for a path to a project file that should be loaded at that time. So I'm gonna click on the browse button, and it will enable me to choose. So I'm gonna choose the milk project that I saved somewhere here, that's it. So if I, s I choose that, I can choose to tell it what type of project it is. If you check this, it means it won't play automatically. It will leave it for the scheduled uh, program to use its own timing. But if I uncheck it, it means it should play it automatically. And I'm going to click start and wait time. And let's see it in action again. Okay, so now it plays the video here. It should load that project called Milk and play those two videos as well. So let's see it in action. There we go. Now it's working perfectly as we expect it to be. It loaded that milk project. It's playing the milk. It's going to play the next video. And so on and so forth. You can still keep on adding commands to, like for instance, in this one, I can add another loader to load a different project after playing this one. So this is more like programming it in a very sophisticated way to do different things you can you can use this basically to do your program intro like before you start the show you can use it to load a set of graphics to play and then it loads another one and so on and so forth we also added a security message before closing v task yeah um, it, i thought it was necessary to do this because most of the time you mistakenly click the close button and before it would just close but now it's going to ask you are you sure you really want to do this and you can decide so i just decided i create removing of input after playing this was a headache that many people were complaining about is and you might you this has been also fixed in the old uh, i mean the 2.1 last update free it has this function or uh, work and this one fixed as well so what is is it's really working now it can actually remove the clips after it's being played you can test this on a long clip, but obviously there's no opportunity here to test that for you. But I can only test it on these two videos to see if it's going to remove it or not. So let's just play it and see. So if it plays the milk, it should be able to remember the last thing that was played. Remember, the last thing that was played was that short video, so it took it off. So let's see if it goes to the next video, which is road. It should remember to remove milk 
and that's gone as well so it could tell it's working you can try this yourself and let me know what you think all right so i'm gonna stop it and the next thing that says i create project saving before if you use the save button here it wouldn't save at all and it was always saving onto the last project because most time people tend to go to the last project when the the program crash or whatever it is and they forget to save the original project again so you always have to remember if you already saved the project it will be smart enough to know if you've not saved it you can use the save us to save it as a different name all right so moving on double click the title field to change the title only double click the date field to change the date only and double click the type field to change the property only we've made a few changes in this one before we usually have to double click here to do all the changes that's possible but we change that as you have to specifically double click the field that you want to change so if you double click on the title it, it presumes you just want to change the title so that's you it's limited to that you can only change the title i can make it milk too and say done it will change it but if you want to change date you have to double click on the date and then it will only give you options to change date and apart from this too if you click on the if you want to change your property you have to click on the type column so in the property of this video will be on the dot mp4 so if i click on it now you can have access to trim it in and out and also to change the title as well the same way if i wanted to change the transition type if i double click here it only would change the name of the transition but that doesn't make any difference it won't even change but if i wanted to change the type of transition i have to go to the type and double click on it now i have access to choose any transition i want with a zoom or whatever i want and then it's going to change it to cross zoom that's it that's what it means the same thing applies to cg function same thing applies to cg function cg command and loader so with these ones if you click here it will just give you the name you can change the name but it doesn't change the settings but if you double click here it gives you the settings for that particular thing so this one has its own settings and this one to have its own settings so just remember to do that we added a button uh, that prevent editing and reprogramming of vectors i thought this was necessary because if you look at the lower right corner we have a button here say lock and let's just use it it says it's locked so now we cannot move it says project is locked we can't do anything project is locked on the next one it says delete by keyboard disabled yes there's most of the time people use the delete button on the keyboard and that causes confusion in the numbering here so we disable that option so if you want to delete you have to use the button here that says delete and number 12 is cg command and command functions simplified in the title field in previous versions you could see that uh there was a whole lot of name here cg command has a long list of uh title here which was not cool we eliminated that so you don't have to worry about it and uh, number 13 it says nested programs calculate duration each time you make changes so what it is is that before we had a problem with uh, add programs when we have added a program and then we had added some files in here before it would not really work on the calculation of the duration so you see the duration is two seconds here uh, if we add a transition at the end before when we go back we wouldn't see the reflection of that duration but now it's it's gonna calculate it perfectly for you and on number uh, 15 is duplicate program uh, item does not create a long name but now you can see it's just incrementally adding the numbers to uh, the duplicate D for symbol that signifies duplicate so as long as you duplicate it it will just incrementally add in numbers instead of copying the name several times this thing here is fixed error sending command even when disconnected yes in the previous release even if you've not connected to VTAX it was still working which was a bug so that has been fixed you have to be connected before you can do anything in VTAX so all said and done, these are the new features and the updates that we have in the new version. Last version as well, 2.1.23, have these major updates change, uh, updates also in it, but d does not include the new features. And um, before I end this video, uh, let me just go into the website and show you what I'm talking about. Now, old uh, license holders will be able to upgrade to this new one version 2.2 if you look at my account that i've logged in here 
it says I have three lines to this and I don't have a product key I don't have a product version so what you have to do is if you're a new buyer you just have to go to the store and buy it and then you follow the instructions over there but I'm gonna quickly show you how your login is gonna look like it will look different depending if you've already um, activated the old version before if you ha if you have activated it before you should see a button here that says up upgrade yeah so I'll quickly gonna activate this one and see if I'm gonna see that button that I'm, I'm talking about so I'm gonna pause the video because I don't want you to see my registration code or my product key okay so welcome back I have activated so I have to log out and log back in in order to see the changes so I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log back in quickly and now it gives me an option to upgrade to VTAX version 2.2 so now you can just add to cart and then you can check out on paper I'm gonna check out and then I don't want you to see my details on paper so I'm gonna check out so I just finished paying on PayPal and then you remember to click on return to merchant else you will not get your your lines to set up so i click on return to merchant on paypal and it brought me here and says payment was successful note you will be redirected to the main page after setting up your re upgrade kindly log back in to check your version so i'm going to simply going to do that it says set up my upgrade you just peacefully click on this button and it's going to set it off for you it's going to log you out and then you're going to log back in to see if you're on the latest version yet so i'm going to log in now and boom here we go it says i have a d different product key and my product version is now 2.2.2 so what is that i can just go on and activate my product so what i'm gonna do is to close it and i'm gonna launch it again and i'm gonna say yes i want to activate because i just upgraded and i'm gonna put copy my username here i'm gonna put it there i'm gonna put my password and I'm gonna copy my new product key and I'm gonna paste it in here then I say okay and voila I have two devices left so it's activated and you're free to go alright you can also use the help button or you can go to what's new it will bring you back help and you can go here to see the videos as well alright uh, so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified whenever we have a new video.